Happy Tuesday evening, everybody. This is day 30 of God's wisdom for living, 31 days. Tomorrow is the last day. I hope you're enjoying being part of this as much as I have preparing these little devotionals and sharing them with you. Let's take a look at Proverbs chapter 30, verse five says this, every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. Wow, God's word is pure. God's word is reliable. God's word is, is, is absolutely authentic, absolutely real, absolutely needing no change whatsoever. Right there we see, do not add to his words. God's word is sufficient all on its own. And as you read God's word, as you live God's word, as you experience God's word, what you're gonna find is his word is a shield to those who put their trust in him. And I love the idea of a shield. I can think of movies with a force field where nothing can get through. And, and I, I think of all the different ways that God wants to bless us and help us. But the shield of faith, it's talked about in Ephesians chapter six, I believe it's 10 through 20, uh, talks about the whole armor of God and the shield of faith is in there. And, that, and that's the thing that protects us from the assaults of the enemy. But it's also this faith inside of us that allows us to live the Christian life and to experience all that God has for us. And so he will bless you as you trust the word of God. Part of the reason I've been doing these Proverbs is so that we will get into the Word a little bit every day and realize we need to get in the Word, we need to pray the Word, we need to live the Word, and we need to expect to experience the Word. All right, now let me just share with you a couple other things real quick here. Verses 7 through 9 says this, Two things I request of you, deprive me not before I die. So the writer is saying, these two things, please, please, Lord, grant me these two things. What are these two things? One thing is remove falsehood and lies far from me. That's the first thing. So don't let me be a liar and don't let liars be near me. What a wonderful idea. How awesome will it be if God answers that prayer for each of us, that we would not tell falsehoods and those around us would not tell falsehoods about us. That would be great. And, and that they would actually tell us truths and not fictitious things and not sensational things and, and not lies, but actual truth. So he's, he's praying for that. And then the other thing he says is, give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food allotted to me, lest I be full and deny you and say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. His prayer here is, God, I wanna be an honest person. I'd like to be around honest people. And Lord, I, 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 I pray that you know what I need and you know what I can manage. So whatever poor is to me, I'd rather, I, I, please don't make me do that because I might do something stupid. And Lord, don't make me too rich for myself, whatever that means for me, because I might be stupid and deny you. And so on either end of the spectrum, we might misbehave and we might not be well suited for one end to the other. So this man's saying, God, just let me receive the provisions that you have for me. Let me steward and manage exactly what you want me to steward and manage. And, and the reality is if we would learn how to steward well, manage well, the gifts, times, talents, treasures, resources that we have, the Bible says, well, he'll bless you with more. But, and, 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 and sometimes more is more. And sometimes meaning, you know, maybe you get to manage a, a paycheck of $1,000 a week. And now God lets you manage a, a paycheck of $1,200 a week. And then he gets, lets you bless the, and manage a paycheck of $1,500 a week. But other times it means I want to bless you here and you're going to manage this thing over here. And now I'm going to let you manage this thing over here. And hey, there's a new gift or a new talent or a new desire I'm going to put in your heart. And now you get to go be a blessing over there. And you get to be a blessing over there. But the bottom line is, uh, the, the prayer of this person is like, God, you, you know me better than I know me. So help me to be honest and help me to walk in contentment in this life. I'm gonna do everything I can to be a good steward and a good manager. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to increase and, and give glory to you and put you first in everything I do. And God, I'm gonna trust you that whatever you're, you're giving to me is, is what I need and what I'm supposed to work with. And, and I'll trust you in that, God. Help me to be in that sweet spot with the Lord. And that's my prayer for you. I pray that God would put you right in his sweet spot where you've got everything you need and you can do all the things that God's put on your heart to do and that you can be truly blessed 
grounded and rooted in him. Amen? God, I pray you bless every person under the sound of my voice right now. Help them to hold on to your word. Help them to anticipate your word manifesting in their life. And God, right now, we count our blessings and we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow for day 31. Wow.